Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvis video and yep, today we're gonna cover some news and uh, basically some updates that they have into the game. So let's jump into it right now. So uh, on March 7th, so basically tomorrow on Thursday, uh, you guys will be able to awaken some abilities for Steiner and Sedona, Beatrix and Ico. And to be honest, the one I'm looking for the most is uh, probably Ico. I don't have Beatrix. But uh, Aiko is going to be really, really nice. She has some nice moves. Uh, so that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. So I'm not going to go over every single thing. You guys can go on uh, XVS Gamepedia. And basically you guys can check everything right now. But uh, for me, Aiko right here, that's going to be a yes, yes. I want to see exactly what she can do and what she can bring to the team a little bit, a little bit better. Then we're going to move on right here. Finally, they're bringing some improvements to the arena and uh, when I say bring some improvements They're basically changing all the rewards that you guys can get so right here We're gonna go the units and items listed below will be available to summon from the arena summon so seven types of king pots Thank you so much trust moogles uh, all 1% king metal manitors pretty good gill snapper family restore energy 10 this is really, really nice. And removal of units and items. So the units and items listed below will be removed from the arena summon. So all these things right here will now be removed. And we're going to be able to summon these big things right here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, which is a big plus. Thank you. Finally. Finally, Gumi and Square Enix. You guys are listening to us. And you're making things happen. So this thing right here is really, really nice. And uh, it's going to make the arena a little bit more fun. And uh, finally, I'm going to be able to use all those uh, currencies that I have in uh, my uh, arena. Because to be honest, I did not use them for the longest time because there was nothing good to get. But now that we can get these things right here, uh, it makes the arena a little bit more interesting for me and probably for a lot of people. Then, we're going to jump into the new, uh, a new daily summon that we're going to have. So it's going to be free, basically from Friday the 8th all the way up to Friday the 22nd. Uh, FF3 free daily summon. So, uh, the way it's gonna work, you're gonna be you're gonna be summoning a trust moogle. So right here, you guys can see the summon pool consists only of three star trust moogles. Uh, five percent for Onion Knight Refia or five percent for Dark Knight Lunat, with a bonus of either a King Metal Minotaur level twenty. This is really really nice, or two hundred lapis. This is also really really nice. So. Uh, basically, they're giving us whether a King Metal uh, Minotaur for free, level 20, so maxed out level, which is really, really good, or 200 Lapis, which is also really, really nice. So this thing is actually going to be pretty cool, and hopefully they can bring more of those in the future. Then, we're going to go right here. Uh, they have that new ticket that we're going to be able to get, and with that new ticket, uh, there's going to come, uh, there's going to be a new banner, all right? So we're going to go over the new banner after... But let's talk about this tickets. Players can use four five-star guaranteed 30% featured tickets to perform a one-star, uh, five-star guaranteed 30% featured ticket summon. So the way it's gonna work, uh, when you do the, um, when you go into the banner and you do the step-up summon, you're gonna get uh, three tickets. When you get four of those tickets, you're gonna be able to summon a five-star guaranteed unit, and that unit's gonna be 30% uh, chance to be a featured unit. So whether Onion Knight, uh, Onion Knight, Onion, uh, Onion, Refia, Onion Knight, Onion Knight, Refia, whatever, Onion Knight, Refia, or Dark Knight, Lunit. It's right here, Onion Knight, Refia, or Dark Knight, Lunit. There you go. Uh, so you guys are gonna have a chance to summon either one of those with a 30% chance. Uh, am I a big fan of that? I'm not gonna go over it right now, but this is one thing that we're getting, so it's a step in the right direction. But we're gonna keep going, because, uh, this is pretty cool, but not the best and let's go over the new thing we're gonna get a new finally a king mog event which is gonna be starting on friday final fantasy 3 event dungeon cave of shadows you guys are gonna be able to obtain the five star select seven ticket which is also really really nice and also really really good so uh like always you're gonna be able to get a rare seven ticket at the beginning uh this one we're getting fangs a uh, fang of earth so this is gonna be the currency for the king mog uh, we're going to be able to get 500 Lapis when you do Elite. 
and 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 i think in this one also uh we're gonna be able to exchange our currency in the king mog for a five star guaranteed ticket uh la like the last king mog event that we had for i think it was uh final fantasy 10 which is gonna be really really cool so things you guys can get obviously the five star select seven ticket uh the lust dagger which is really really nice because uh it's a dagger and increases uh, basically boosts the ld gauge fill rate on your uh character so if you guys have that, yes, go grab it, because when the, uh, what's it called, Steel Castle Malfica will come back, you guys can probably try to get an extra uh, high tide on that and basically fill up the limit burst of your characters even faster. So this thing right here, it's a yes. And even this one, Kotetsu, Kotetsu, whatever, Kotetsu, uh, Dark Elemental, Katana, uh, 105. It's actually not bad, just because it has the Dark Element on go for it get it just in case because if you do need to chain dark element uh and you have the death bringer or something like that or the glaucus sword uh you're gonna be able to chain some dark damage which is also really really nice this one right here inherited magic uh you don't need that unless you are starting the game and you just started this week uh you can probably get that but for the rest don't do it but uh, go for these two the daggers and the katana is actually is a yes and uh, you should do it also they change uh, the mini burst so you guys can see right here you can exchange for other items such as guaranteed five star special summon ticket four star plus guaranteed tickets and five star trust moogles all 10% I had a hard time reading this one the king mog exchange reward three star mini burst spots has been updated to a four star burst spot this is really really good and hopefully they did not uh, increase the currency too much but this is going to be a big plus because these little mini bursts, uh, they were not cutting off. Uh, they were not enough to basically build up the limit burst of certain characters at the end. This is going to be a lot better and this is going to be a big yes. So thank you Gumi and Square Enix for this. Uh, obviously the 5 star select summon ticket is going to be good there. Uh, we're going to need Demon Killer for the Death Claw. Alright, and the bonus characters you guys can see right here. It's going to be all of those. Uh, so we're going to jump into... The thing so uh yeah that's the ticket i was actually talking about before guaranteed five star special summon ticket you guys will be able to exchange your currency to get that ticket and basically summon a random five star unit in the game and hopefully you guys can pull the unit that you want so we're gonna scroll all the way back up and we're gonna go right here we're gonna go over the featured summon final fantasy 3 uh not the biggest fan of final fantasy 3 to be honest uh and of these characters they don't i don't think personally they bring anything special to the table should you guys summon for them if you're a big fan of final fantasy 3 then yes go for it and if uh, somehow onion knight refia and dark knight lunet or refia and lunet are your favorite characters then go for it but other than that guys there's nothing special uh maybe the good thing is uh onion knight refia's TMR which is really good also the super TMR is really nice but other than that I don't think there are units that you guys should chase and uh, that's the thing I wanted to talk about so that step up it's actually a really good step up so now it's 9 plus 2 uh, so you're guaranteed 2 gold and you're guaranteed that uh, that ticket the only thing that annoys me a little bit and uh, I'm just gonna lower this music a little bit the only thing that annoys me a little bit is basically you have to go through the step you have to spend 30,000 lapis to basically be guaranteed not even guaranteed you have a 30% chance to guarantee one of those two units so let's say you're doing the step up bam you get that ticket bam you get that ticket hey you get a rainbow and it's Gilgamesh bam you get that ticket you try that 10% ticket you get a blue like 90% of the time then you get here you get onion knight refia awesome then you have to do another 5,000, you get another ticket, you pull, and guess what? You're getting Orlando. In my opinion, if you're gonna do something like that, and you wanna make it really good, just make sure that, give a ticket in every single step. Give a ticket in every single step, and make it that whenever you're summoning, it's not a 30% chance guaranteed. Make it that you can choose whether you want Onion Knight Refia, or Dark Light Lunet, uh, Dark Light, Dark Knight Lunet, because there's nothing more annoying, especially now in the seven-star meta, where you actually need two of the same units. 
So let's get let's say you go through the whole thing. Bam, you get Onion Knight Refuge, and you have to go through a second time again, and you're not even gonna be guaranteed another ticket. Another uh, batch of four tickets. So you basically have to do this three times to get those tickets, which is sadly enough, it sucks. It sucks because by doing something like that, they're just trying to eat as much as money from the player base, and uh, it really, really, really sucks. Uh, for me personally, if they would have put the ticket in every single step, and then at the end, let's say you pull Dark Knight Lunit, and that ticket is going to be the guaranteed unit, whether you want one or the other, that would have been the best thing to do. Because it really sucks, you go through the whole thing, you're not getting the unit that you want, you use that ticket, you put an extra 5,000 for 30,000 Lapis total, you take that ticket, and hopefully you can get one of the two units, and you're still not getting them after 30,000 Lapis. I think it's absurd and stupid. So in my personal opinion, it's a right, it's a, it's a good step in the right direction, but it's still, I, I find it still laughing at us a little bit. Yes, you're guaranteed a rainbow here, but you're not, and you're guaranteed a rainbow here, but you're not even guaranteed a rainbow with all the four steps. So give a ticket in every single step. It's the right thing to do. Not just, hey, do 25,000 lapis. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to do an extra 5,000 if you want another ticket. And maybe you're gonna have a 30% chance to get one of the units that you want. That's, in my opinion, that's a little bit laughing of the players, uh, laughing at the players. And that's really, really not cool. So that's my honest opinion on this banner. It is a step in the right direction, but nonetheless, I still find it stupid a little bit the way they did it. That's me, and uh, that's what I think. I like the new 9 plus 2, 9 plus 2, 8 plus 3, 9 plus 2, 8 plus 3. This is really good, but this ticket right here, it's... Just give it in every single step. Make it that whenever you do a 25k pull, you're going to be guaranteed another rainbow. At the amount of money and the amount of lapis that you're putting in into a banner, you should be guaranteed rainbows. At the time that we're in, in these games, uh, a lot of gacha games, they guaranteed you... Uh, stuff and units after a certain amount. Uh, I'll take example, I play Dragon Ball Legends. When there's a new banner that comes out, every single day for 7 days they give you a ticket. Whenever you get 7 tickets, you pull, you're guaranteed one of the new units. Uh, whether there's 5 units, you're still guaranteed one of those 5 units. Which I think, even if it's a bad unit that you summon, they're still guaranteeing you. Uh, they're still a guarantee to get one of those units. And I think it sucks that in uh, Brave Exvius they're not doing this yet. Just my honest opinion, and if you guys do agree, please let me know down below in the comment section. And uh, enough of my rant, let's go over Onion Knight Refia. So, Super TMR, attack 160, it's a sword, Onion Blade, chance to inflict poison, blind silence, and confuse, enables Master Onion Knight, boost attack, defense, magic, and spirit by 30%. Uh, I see this really, really good in the arena. Basically, because you can inflict all these things right here. So this is really nice. Or, or Super Trust Master. Uh, or Trust Master. Blacksmith Daughter. Boost attack by 50% when equipped with a sword. And boost LB gauge fill rate. This is amazing. This is finally something we needed. So we had Large Sword Mastery. We had all these good things for Large Swords. And this is a good thing for Swords user. Uh, having that LB gauge fill rate. Yes, this is good. This is really, really good. So if you guys pull one of her, get that TMR because that TMR is really, really nice. Then her featured abilities, uh, Onion Me Meteor, deal partial unmigated damage to all enemies, Light of Affection, restore MP, cure poison, blind sleep, silence, paralysis, confusion, disease, and stone, and boost defense and SPR for all allies. I think the boost in defense is basically 110%, which is not that bad considering that she can help. Uh, if uh, something happens, you can always rely on her and she's gonna be able to chain with the uh, onion slice So if you guys have onion knight, they're gonna be able to chain together Then she has blade of wit and beauty boost damage of certain abilities Boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapon and boost physical and magic damage against reaper So she is gonna be a dual wielder and uh, She can do a good decent amount of damage. She also has if I'm not mistaken Four elements that you can cover it with fire, ice, wind, and maybe water. But I, I don't want to jump into it. But I think that's the four elements she covers. Or earth. Something like that. Uh, she's a nice unit. Her TMR is really good. Her super TMR is really good. But chances of getting her super TMR 
uh, are gonna be really really hard but her tmr nonetheless if you do guys if you guys do get her her tmr is really really good then dark knight lunat uh true double hand or dual wielder you guys can build them build them up with uh either true double hand or dual wielder so that's gonna be your choice uh high on attack and uh, let's go over the super trust master mura kumo final fantasy 3 uh katana 168 dark elemental so this is really really nice since there's an element attached to it uh enables dark blade murakumo consumes own hp to damage all enemies mm. basically because he's a dark knight i do get that i understand uh am i gonna be a fan of that maybe not since there's a lot of units that they have a lot of good aoe attacks without having to consume their own hp but uh yeah since i i get it he's a dark knight he has to use his hp to do a lot of damage so yes why not why not then his super trust master is trust master not super trust master is trust master dark knight's knowledge boost attack by 30 percent boost equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped in both ends and boost physical damage against demons uh, i think that's 50 50 percent sorry about that uh this is actually really nice since you get the 50 percent in the demon killer passive and uh, the attack 30% and boost the equipment attack this is actually really really nice then is featured abilities scar of the abyss every five turns you can use that boost own physical attack uh, physical damage against demons and aquatic monsters and damage one enemy pretty nice so he's gonna be able to deal a lot of damage against demons and aquatic monsters dark rebirth Every 5 turns, fully restore HP and boost on physical damage against demons. And boost attack and magic and boost dark resistance for all allies. Uh, yeah, why not? I like the boost of dark resistance to all allies since he's able to uh, help support the team a little bit more. Especially if you're fighting a boss that does dark. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? This could be nice. And the last one, Master Dark Knight. Boost equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapons and boost damage of certain abilities. So you guys can see right here, that's exactly what I was talking about. You guys can build him as a true double hand or as a dual wielder. Not that bad. Normally you want to go true double hand just because you can increase the damage. But uh, also dual wielder is not that bad since you can uh, use a little bit less MP as you're going through the fights. Then our four star, Daga. We're just going to go over the trust master. Daga's rod. Rod. Attack 8, magic 103 enables the dog's protection, boost fire resistance by 20%. Not that bad if you're fighting a boss that does fire damage and you want that uh, extra fire resistance, then why not? This is actually not that bad. And the last one, the granny, Une, or staff, attack 6, magic 75, spirit 92. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice, but uh, let's be honest, she's a 3 star going into 5 star. So you're going to be pulling a lot of her. But uh, still get that stuff because it's actually not that bad. And you guys can basically uh, bring it to uh, the Steel Castle Melfica and probably make that stuff a little bit better. But yeah, this is this is what we're getting on Friday. Uh, am I going to be pulling on this banner? I don't think so. Uh, I'm going to be getting those tickets. I'm going to use that 5-star guaranteed ticket that we're going to be getting uh, to see if I can get something good. But other than that, I'm going to do the dailies. I'm not going to go through this banner. There are not units that I want. Uh, I don't think they're units that are going to be game changing. A lot of people still believe that Xenogears is going to be coming out soon. So might as well keep my Lapis. Might as well keep my tickets for something that I want to pull for. But uh, sadly enough, if I do get one Onion Knight Refuge, I'm going to be really happy. Because that TMR is really nice. But other than that, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this banner. And uh, yeah. Guys, let me know down below if you're going to be pulling... On this banner let me know what you guys think of uh, what I said before on my little rant uh, please share your comments I want to I want to hear you guys I want to hear your opinion on this banner and uh, like I said I do like where they're going with that the 9 plus 2 the 8 plus 3 is actually really, really nice the only thing that I hate is just give us a tick in, in every step it doesn't hurt you as a company to make your player base happy if we're happy Obviously, we're going to be spending a little bit more money on the game. If we're not happy, guess what, Gumi and Square Enix? Your players are not going to be spending money on the game. That's as easy as it is. So, just on the next one, give us a ticket on every single step. And make it that this ticket will guarantee either one of the two units. 
please kill me. All right, I'm done ranting. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Subscribe for more content from your boy. Hit that little bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And on that note, guys, I wish you, I wish you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace. I'm out.